Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am excited for this video. It's gonna be a little different than what's been kind of happening on the channel recently. I feel like it's been eyeshadow, 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 and it's time to move down the face a little bit and talk about lips. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite fall and winter lip items. I think that a great lip color can really quickly pull together a look and it's a way to like add a pop of color to your face in the fall and winter when we're sort of feeling like wah wah. <laughs> You know, a little more quickly than like a dramatic eyeshadow look, having to put on three colors and do all the things. So it's a great way to like very quickly have a look as well. So we're gonna dive into this in just a moment, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I have 10 colors here and a bonus item. I was really trying to pick out the things that you could still purchase if there's something here that interests you, but there's one that just always lives in my heart this time of year, but it's not available anymore, but I have to share it with you anyway. Now, I think that lip swatches are the best way to get a view of what a color is going to look like. I am going to try to do lip swatches of most of these until my lips just give up or until they're like so stained slash raw that it isn't really giving you a very good very good idea of the color anyway, and then we might have to switch to hands. We'll have to see. I haven't filmed any of these yet, as you can tell. All right, enough yammering for me. Let's dive in. If you are a lip lover like I am, I hope you enjoy. I'm just realizing that I've already lied to you in this video. We are probably not even two minutes in. <laughs> I've already lied to you because I do have 10 here with me, but there is one that I'm, I must have left at the salon and it is like my tippy top must have for fall and winter. And if you know me, you probably know that that is Velvet Cinnabar from Lisa Eldridge. This True Velvet lip color is amazing. I, I haven't seen it look bad on anyone. It is just beautiful. It is perfect to add a little bit of like warmth to the face. It is just universally flattering and I freaking love it. I love it so much that evidently I've been keeping it at work lately. I have the lip pencil and the lipstick and they're both, they're both flawless. So I will make sure to either have a lip swatch or a picture of me wearing it, something so that I can show you it here. And I do have to say, while I'm not really mentioning lip pencils in this video, I have to say that the Cinnabar shade would go well with a lot of these shades. So that is definitely one to look at if you are interested. If you like that like kind of like warm vibe, you can probably see here as I'm showing this to you. It's that like, it's not rust, it's not red, it's not brown. It's a shade that I never would have thought to pick up, but when I saw it actually on Lisa, when she did her first initial like launch video of these lipsticks, that must've been last fall winter, I was like, wow, stunning, amazing, beautiful, yeah. Anyway, now that I've given that little mention, I'm gonna zoom you in and that way you can see up close and personal the beauty of all of these shades. All right, so let's talk about the one that I'm wearing right now. I really love this. I've talked about it recently because I put it in my fall shop my stash and I've talked about it at other times as well. So this is the Odin's Eye Alva Cream Lip Stain. This is the shade Sweet Tulip. It's worn off just a little bit because I had a little snack before I sat down to film. So I'll just show you if I build this up. And that's the nice thing about this one is that you can really like build it up a little bit. You can sheer it out. And even when it like, even when a lot of the gloss goes away because it is a cream lip stain, it does leave behind a little bit of color and it's very hydrating. Like, you know how sometimes lip stains just really make you feel like shrinky dinked? This is a beautiful shade. I think at this point I have all of the shades of the cream lip stains. They do also have matte ones. You know, mattes aren't usually my jam other than Lisa Eldridge, hello. So I haven't really given those a go yet, but I do really love these. They have a nice scent, nothing overpowering and beautiful colors. I really love these. And that is one thing that you'll find as we go through here, that it's not just the shades that I really look for in the fall and winter. I really want a beautiful formula because my lips tend to take a beating in the fall and winter. I live in Wisconsin and the air gets really cold and really dry and so if I'm going to take the time to put on a lip color it needs to a not dry the heck out of my lips and b if I do have dry lips not overemphasize that yeah Ugh, not good <laughs> all right here we have the second shade and I wanted to do this one right after number one because you might be thinking like really is that different but they are they are actually different and especially texturally but this is the Merit shade slick lip oil in the shade Cara Cara this is a beautiful one I was gifted these from Merit I have very madly fallen in love with these lip oils they are very beautiful they're very thin on the lips very comfortable they're hydrating and I just love the colors. They're definitely a little bit more saturated in tone than a lot of the lip oils out there. This one actually has 
a bit more of that orange vibe than the last one, the Sweet Tulip does. So they're definitely a bit like different color wise, but it's mostly, it's honestly mostly the like textural difference that's there. This definitely feels like a lip oil, whereas the Odin's Eye one has more of that like thicker, I don't wanna say lip gloss, but like definitely that like thicker feel to it. Yeah, you probably know what I'm saying, but you'll again see in the arm swatches at the end. I really like this. The thing about these is because they are a lip oil, they don't last that long on the lips, but they're so easy to reapply. This would be very beautiful uh, over the Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar lip liner though. Like that would be a gorgeous, gorgeous combo. The other thing that I like about this is because it is slightly sheer if a color like this sort of, you know, intimidates you, but you want to give it a go. You could wear this really thin on the lips and just get like a little bit of that vibe, but not be too overwhelmed. So it's a great one. By the way, while I'm naked lipped here, I thought that this would be a good moment just to show you like my natural lip color. Even though it's starting to get a little angry, this is about like normal. I wouldn't say that they're more pigmented right now than they are usually from like rubbing or anything. So this is me naturally. Obviously what you put a lip color over makes a difference in the end, especially if it's like a slightly translucent color, like a gloss or an oil. So I just did want to show you that. And as I'm going through and doing these lip swatches, I'm not wearing any pencil at all. I probably should be because Jeremy and I have plans to go out tonight and I'm going to start looking like, like I have some sort of weird mouth rash. That's going to be cute. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive back in with another shade. <laughs> okay, so right now I actually just have this one on my bottom lip and it's almost like a my lip, but slightly more hydrated and slightly more mauve tone. This is the uh, Satin Lip Pencil in Rikujian from NARS. So I pulled this one out because I really do like it and I saw that they are in the like last chance section on the NARS site. This shade is still available. They only have like two or three shades, but these are only $6.50 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my top lip while we're talking here, just because I think this is like an easy grab and go. Like, I mean, for me, I like a my lips foot better kind of option when I'm wearing like a really dramatic eye or something, or I just, you know, I'm like wanting like brows, mascara and something to throw on. And I think that this is like a good color for like any time of year. It's just something about this one that I pull out more in the fall. I think it's because it's like slightly cool toned without being like overly cool toned. So it's like one of those things that I don't necessarily have to think about. And it's really, it's so creamy. It feels just very nice on the lips. I mean, you can see here, even though I've got a fairly like warm look on, I don't feel like this lip color looks odd. Like, I feel like it's like something that you could put with anything. It's like slightly more pinky toned, but not so pinky toned that it doesn't match with everything else. I really like this. I know that I said I wasn't gonna like add anything in that you can't get anymore, but technically you can still get these. And for $6.50, that's a great deal. All right, here we have a lip gloss that I find so flattering on the lips and I really, I really don't love a lot from this brand anymore, so I was really surprised that I like these. But this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. I've talked about this one before. I'm pretty sure, oh, the thingy has fallen off. No, it hasn't, it's the bigger the hoops. So I talked about this one. I was trying to figure out as I was doing these lip swatches, I'm like, this feels really familiar. But recently I did a favorite lip gloss video. So I will make sure to have that one linked down below. So I was like, wow, this really is just feeling so familiar. So this was in that video. I love this formula. It is that tingle formula, but it's not quite as like scary as the lip injection extreme. This just gives you a little bit of that cinnamony like bite. It's like on a scale of one to 10, I'd say it's like a six. So I really love this. It has these little like micro shimmers that are like gold and fuchsia pink, but it has this like peachy base. It's so flattering. I think it, again, look, I mean, I think it goes well with this look. So I love this with anything in the fall and winter time. I have to say, I really do enjoy it in the summertime too. So for me, it's just like an all around like nude but better it's like a warm nude but like slightly sexier and the look of it it just fills in the lines nicely i do feel like it does plump up the lips after you leave it on for like five or ten minutes i have this in several shades but i think that this one is my favorite okay i'm gonna keep going with the like slightly sheer products or the ones that are easy to get off because i can tell my lips are already starting to get a little irritated so i'm quickly gonna swipe this one on i can't not put this in this video I can't not. It's been around for a long time, but this is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is my second favorite shade of this product. I really love Fenty Fussy, but this one is just one that I prefer to pull out in fall. And I have to say, I like the original like Gloss Balm formula more than the like cream one. These ones are just that like slightly iridescent. Iridescent isn't the right word. That sounds like unicorn lips. I mean like luminescent maybe, like 
just that flattering luminosity. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this. Again, this is another really easy one to wear. You can quickly whack it on in the car without even looking in the mirror. It feels good. It feels slightly buttery. Like, this lip gloss is definitely a little bit more of that like slightly richer feel. Not tacky at all. If you've never tried these, if you've never tried a gloss bomb, like, have you ever even been to Sephora? Like, I'm just gonna say, I feel like this is one of those products that like everybody had one at some point. So this I love. And again, this is Fenty Glow. If you're more of like a mauve or neutral to cool person, Fenty Fussy is perfect. But I think I've talked about that one plenty of times here as well. All right, this color is about as close to like a darker brown that I will ever get to and still feel comfortable. This is still in my wheelhouse. It's like a little bit more brown than some of the other lip glosses that I've shown, the ones that are more like orangey red brown. This is like tipping a little bit more towards that. And I have this gloss in a couple shades. This is the Persona Season 1 gloss. This is the shade Toffee. At least I think that's what they're called is Season 1. Anyway, this is the shade Toffee. I also have the shade Honey. I love them both. You know, this formula actually feels very similar in feel. It has that same like buttery smooth feel as the Fenty gloss bombs do. I've never put one on like one after the other because who would ever really do that? But I've never done that before. And they're very similar. I wonder what the price point difference is. Kelly, leave it right here. Now I will say these definitely have a slightly different look than these. I would actually say the season one glosses are a hybrid between the original gloss bombs and then the cream gloss bombs or cream bombs or whatever the heck they're called. So they have a little bit of luminosity to them, but they're not like this, but they're also not straight cream. I love this. I think, again, this is one that I could wear with a lot of different things. And I think that I got both of my Persona glosses from BoxyCharm at some point in time, but I would definitely get more colors if I needed more lip gloss, which I don't, but I would definitely be open to getting more colors because this formula is very, very nice. All right, folks, we have one more sheerish product to put on. And then after that, it's not gonna matter what color my lips are starting to get because they're more saturated and more dark. But this is one, I was excited to see that you could still get this. If you haven't gotten this and you like something kind of shimmery, you need to run right now to Amazon. On. This is the House Labs La Luce Lip Gloss in Granita. This is... Mm, it's such a good shade. Okay, so again, we're gonna do the bottom lip just so you can see. Can you see? I don't know if you can pick up the magic of this. So there are some Pat McGrath lip glosses that have this like shimmery effect. This is very similar. Although I feel like the Pat McGrath ones, you can feel the shimmer a little bit more in those. They're not gritty, but I just feel like you can tell. In these, you can't at all. I have two of the shades from the Luluche collection. This one's my favorite though. And I know that I always say like, this is like Davina Tucana eyeshadow in a lip gloss form. Now, this looks a little bit different than it does before I've like rubbed my lips raw. <laughs> because my lips aren't normally this dark, but it just shows that this would be a beautiful topper over lipsticks too, so. It's like that little bit of shimmer without feeling like you just went to Claire's and picked up like a glitter lip gloss. This is so pretty. Hey lovelies, editing Kelly here. I don't know what happened, but part of a clip just went wonky and I'm just kind of like a robot for two minutes. So I'm about to start yammering on about a lipstick and you'll have no idea what it is because that part is missing. So I just wanna let you know that the one that you're about to see on is the BK Beauty Luxe Lipstick in Passion. I really do like it. It's a perfect cream lip formula. Let's go look at it on my face right now. I really now. like these. They're so comfortable on the lips and the formula is like not too matte, but it's not really creamy either. I mean, it's creamy, it feels creamy, but it's not too sheeny on the lips, which means it's gonna have pretty good staying power. This shade Passion is sort of like a neutraled out reddish pink. I think that this has just enough depth to it that it like sort of says fall vibes and like a little bit deeper without getting too vampy. I will be honest, I feel like I wear less super deep lipsticks as I've gotten older, just because I feel like they make me look older. So the darker the lip, I just feel like, oh, I just put five years onto myself. And probably when I was like 22, I didn't care. But now at like 41, I'm like, mm. sometimes I just don't give a damn and I do it anyway. But I always just feel like, oh, I look a little bit older. So this just gives me a little bit of that, but I still feel fresh and youthful whatever that means. But I did wanna say, since I said this is like pink with a little note of red, I have to be honest, I love a good crisp red lipstick in the fall and winter, like that is one of my favorites. 
but I don't really have a red that I can share with you because when I did my lipstick declutter, which by the way, if you love a good declutter or you just really love seeing someone go through a ton of lip colors, I will make sure to have that linked up here and down below because that like changed my view on my lip collection so much. And one of the things that I'm realizing is if I'm gonna have a red, it needs to be something that stays put, not necessarily like, you know, a like liquid lip, but something that is not gonna like move. It's not too shiny that it's gonna end up all over and it needs to be just the perfect color. And I need to grab one of those. I do have a MAC lipstick limited edition shade that I enjoy wearing, but I need to pick up something. Honestly, I'm probably gonna pick up one of the Lisa Eldridge uh, this holiday because I know that I love the True Velvet formula. It's that beautiful finish. So that's probably what I will do. If you have a red lipstick that you love, please leave it down below. I would love to know because I definitely need to get another red or two in my life. A red or two, Kelly. We don't need to be doing another lipstick declutter in like three months. Okay, you'll have to forgive me if I don't go to the very edge of my lip line with this one because obviously she's got some depth to her. This is the NYX like plumping lip color, uh, the Filler Instinct lip color in the shade Bitten Pout. And I think that this is sort of a cooler toned dupe for Clinique Black Cherry. Now that that's like all the rage again, which is so funny because <laughs> This like takes me back like 15 years. But anyway, this is obviously just a little bit more cool toned than that. I think honestly, I picked this up because I was like really close to like hitting free shipping or I needed a few more dollars for the coupon or you know how it goes. It was one of those things and they were already on sale. Obviously NYX is a very affordable brand. These are super comfortable. Like I think that the nice thing about this is it wears off fairly easily and this shade does leave a little bit of a stain. It does have that like slight tingle to it. It's not near as tingly as the uh, Too Faced lip gloss that I had on before, but it does have that little bit of a tingle. So that's obviously one thing that makes it very different than Black Cherry, but I like this shade. This actually gives me the vibes of one of the colors I'm gonna show you in a minute, the one that you can't get anymore, but it's like a slightly more sheer wearable version of it, if you will. So I really like this one and I need to pull her out this fall and winter. I think this is such a good like berry, kind of like dramatic, sort of like take on the world color. I really like this one. Represent, all right. I put this one on. I'm not quite sure how like truly representative of what this looks like it is. I think it's actually like slightly more, I hate to say berry, but it is slightly more berry toned than what it would be because I just put on the lipstick that you're about to see in just a minute. I just put that one on and took it off and it really stained my lips. It really, really stained my lips. Granted, I love the way that this looks right now, but I feel like it's just got like a slight berry undertone from what you're about to see in just a moment. But anyway, wow, you don't even know what this is. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lip Color in the shade Lippy. So I compared these to the House Labs and the Urban Decay Vice Vinyl Liquid Lip something something. Anyway, supposed to be the like long wear vinyl lip lacquers. And truly this formula ended up being one of my favorites. It's not a vinyl shiny lipstick though. I like the formula, but it's not that like glossy glossy thing. Does it stay a long time? Yes. Is it fairly inexpensive? Yes, as well. So I really do like this. Uh, this lippy shade is one that I knew that I was gonna enjoy this fall and winter. So I've only worn it like once or twice because I got these in the summer. And this to me is definitely more of a fall and winter shade. I really like this. And again, I hope that seeing all of the swatches of these at the end on my arm will help you kind of like get a vibe for what they look like or what maybe they would look like on your lips if you have more pigmented or less pigmented lips. But I just had to do the lip swatches. I just had to because I think that there's something about seeing them on the lip that really kind of like gives you the vibe. But also obviously it just makes a difference depending on where you're starting with your lip color. All right, this is her. This is the one that you can't get anymore, but a lot of you might have this one in your collection and you should pull it out, especially because we need to use this up soon. <laughs> because it's been a while. This is MAC Rebel. I love this one so much. What is, oh yeah, this is a satin. This is honestly, the MAC satin formula is the only one that I can get down with anymore, other than like maybe a cream sheen, but most MAC lipsticks just make my lips peel for some reason. So this is this beautiful, like almost slightly violety berry. And like I was saying, it this is the one that, that, um, that NYX shade is almost like. This one has a little bit more like electricity to it. This is probably like medium saturation. And again, I did not go all the way to the edge of my lip. I'm coloring inside the lines, like quite a bit inside the lines instead of like spreading outside of them. But anyway, I love this shade. I cannot believe that MAC hasn't kept this one on. I think that this is so beautiful. And it's weird because when I search for it online, you see it listed and then you like click on it and it's like, oh, nope. 
that's not it. So I would love it if they would bring this one back, but I love the shade. I think it's really flattering. This shade, I think just brings out my eye color quite a bit. And it just, again, it's that like sort of like vampy, like winter fairy vibes. I really love this one. It makes me so sad that you can't get it anymore. But if you have it in your collection and she's just been sitting there, it's time to pull her out and use her. Do you have any of these? Are you gonna pull them out now that I've talked about them? I think that that's one of the things sometimes. That's why I like watching videos like this. It's like, oh yeah, I have that one too. I should pull that out for this season because I am notorious. I'm notorious for having shades that I really only like wearing at certain times of the year and then I just completely forget about them until like two seasons later. I'm like, oh, missed opportunity. So don't have that happen to you. Check your collection. And again, let me know down below if you have a red lipstick that you love, preferably like something that's not too slippy because I'm gonna make a hot mess of it. So <laughs> I would love to know your suggestions down in the comments. I've had a lot of fun with this one and I truly do appreciate you taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. So now I'm gonna show you a quick clip of all of these swatched on my arm. But again, I do really thank you. Don't forget to give this video a like on your way out. It really does help me out and I will see you really soon. All right, lovelies. Can I just say that I want to take a picture and like memorialize how not pathetic I did a job of on these swatches <laughs> like they're almost straight even anyway uh, and then I went and dug my finger into this one as I was like doing some stuff but anyway here are my fall and winter favorites anyway running down these one more time this is the Odin's Eye Alpha Cream Lip Stain in Sweet Tulip we have the Merit Shade Slick Lip Oil in Cara Cara this one is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Here we have the Persona Season 1 Lip Gloss in the shade Toffee. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss in the shade The Bigger the Hoops. Here we have the House Laboratories La Luce Lip Gloss in Granita. Then moving into more of our lipsticks, we have the NARS Satin Lip Pencil, and this is the shade Rakugian. I'm probably butchering that. And then the next one over is the Lux Lipstick from BK Beauty in the shade Passion. This one is the NYX Filler Instinct in Bitten Pout. Then we have the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lippy. And then this is the MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Rebel. Mm -hmm. 